Yeah, yeah, some burn. burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna get that out of there. Na 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 na. And, and we, we march. march. <laughs> and we march up and down <laughs> the street, looking, looking for sales. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, all you she's, gays, and nays. It's the month of almost June. And you know what that means. Pride is around the corner. But last year, pride didn't happen. So now, we're making up for lost time. <laughs> pride is a celebration. Yeah, that's what it's about. Last year, we couldn't meet up. But this time, it's allowed. With my queer friends and allies, now it's time to go out. Ooh, ooh, we get to do it all again. Now we're out on the floor, but I don't see my crush. He's not texting me back. Well, I'll just brush it off. I have a mental breakdown. Make my friends take care of me. And I think, woo! Yeah, 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 it's Pride again. We've been waiting so long. It's Pride again. So much to go wrong. It's Pride again. Santa Con, but for queers. This is our St. Patty's Day. Acting sloppy because we're gay. Who cares about him? You're so cool and so funny. I don't want to be funny. I want to be hot. It's our first Pride together. And it's also our last. Cause even for lesbians, we moved in way too fast. But we're still hosting a gay brunch. And frying eggs got us hot. Ooh, ooh. Tonight we'll break up again. They go flirt with that girl. Man, I try, but she's straight. Well, then how about her friend? She is also a straight friend. When did all these straight girls start dressing lesbian? And we go, Ooh. Yeah, 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 it's right again. It's inclusive and it's great. It's right again. But who let in all these straights? It's right again. Gender is just clothes. Let's go eat some Chick-fil-A. Nothing matters anyway. Wait, wait, no, we're not eating Chick-fil-A. They're homophobic. Okay, no, that is such a neoliberal notion to equate individual responsibility with collectivist politics. Terrence, don't talk like you read theory. You don't read theory. I read theory, sis. Sis, I read theory. What theory do you read? Podcast? Terrence, that is not theory. Well, you work at Georgia Bank. You're Georgia Bank, bitch. Oh, God. I miss this. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Time for the parade, y'all. Let's get messy. You'd hate the drum on any other night, but doing gay pride, this is doing gay right. Post Holocaust friends, post hole on me. Post hole for the Christ where you can't be gay. Marshall P. Johnson and Harvey Milk, they paved the way for you to shake and feel. Stonewall was to kick you when they threw the bridge. They fought for your right to be this chaotic. Yeah, 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 it's right again. We're so sunburned and mad. And we love it. $50 drinks that are bad. Well, we missed it. I'm overwhelmed, but I love. We're just happy that we're queer and can do this every year. Wait, we on the Deutsche Bank float? Well, summer is just around the corner. Here to promote their outdoor summer concert series is musical duo Garth and Cat. Hi. <laughs> Hi, we're here. Hi. Sorry we're late. We uh, literally just woke up. <laughs> kind of kind of late for a nap, isn't it? Uh, we sleep 20 hours a night. Okay. Well, for a second, I thought you forgot you were coming here again. What? No way, no. no way, no way. No, we have been looking forward to this for a whole while. <laughs> and we are prepared. Yes. Okay, so uh, what can people expect from your summer concert series? Um, summer music. Songs about summer, summer time. time. It's all pre-written, all It's all pre-written with verses Line. and choruses and, and yeah, endings. Memorized. And, and well, that's, really... that's great. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, why don't you two give us a little sample? Of course, that's absolutely <laughs> sure. Okay, good. This one uh, will be a classic. I think he'll... Oh. And oh, let us play some volleyball on your beach. On your beach. Let us play some volleyball on your beach. But don't call the police. But man, <laughs> there's a couple of people out there 
They better get up out of my beach. Okay, stop. 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 No. Stop. That, uh, that was not written. You know it. You just made that up. Gotcha. gotcha. We gotcha. Goofing around. Goofing. <laughs> oh man. Your face was priceless. You were like, you're like, what? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, you guys, stop. <laughs> oh, well, this next one is a real song, and it was actually composed by a very famous songwriter. Oh, great. Uh, who? Glenn Cotrolst. Glenn Cotrolst? Glenn Cotrolst. Now, uh, he wrote this one, and it's called. The, the lobster and, and crab blues, blues all over the place. <laughs> lobster and crab blues all over the place. Lobster and crab blues. Oh, we got a sunburn. Oh, we got to get that out of there. And, 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 and we march. And we march up and down the street looking for sales. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Like, like, like a fair face. face. Like, oh. <laughs> like a fair face. face. Like, like a fair face. face. Like a... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like stop you guys. Uh, I'm gonna stop. Like like a fair I'm gonna stop face. you guys before you say, like the '50s again. Do you guys even have concerts coming up? Yeah, we yes, do actually. We do. We're performing and we're, live. And we're gonna be performing, performing at the uh, yeah, the, the arena. Uh, arena. The arena. The arena. The arena. For the uh, amphitheater, amphitheater of, of summer, summer fun, fun and, and playground time, time in, in the, the park. park. <laughs> the arena for the amphitheater of summer fun and playground time. Team Mobile Team. Once again, and do not take this the wrong way, yes. once again, you guys did not prepare anything. It is an embarrassment to me. You're embarrassed? I'm embarrassed by you. Why are you even here? Oh, because we were trying to make it, Seth. We are begging you, sir. <laughs> we came all the way from Epcot. I thought, you... <laughs> I thought you just woke up. Well, we were sleep driving. Just don't tell the police. Yes. <laughs> we'll just let us sing one more. Twenty more. 20. No, one. One more. Okay. okay. Thank you. And this one actually has music. Yes. Hit, hit it. When the sun is shining on your shoulders and the birds are chirping in the sky. Once again, we are the Treese Henderson Trio. So glad that you joined our big kickoff to summer celebration. We got a hot show to get back to, but before we do, my allergies are exploding. Can I ask if anyone has a little bit of Nasonex in their purse? Just a little squirt of Nasonex? Maybe the tiniest pump of Nasonex. It would really get me through this experience. I'll put a condom on the nasal insert so it doesn't get infected. Can I get that squirt? Am I speaking clearly? I have asked for Nasonex at least 11 times. <laughs> Nasonex? No? Uh, nobody has it, Trace. Okay, fine. Tweedledee roll, Tweedledee bun. Soon we'll eat hamburgers in the summer sun. All right, let's meet the band. On keyboards, it's Brad Dates, and his last name is Dates but he hasn't had one in six years. I've been married for 10, Trees. Hey, this is just show patter. I don't know. Also here tonight, it's Helen. I'm Helen. I don't play an instrument. I'm just here to dance. Well, we love how it helps out the band. And finally on harmonica, it's my roommate and landlord, Cassie Marie. Watch me blow this. Yes! Cassie, yes! 
Yes, that was fire, Cassie Marie. I thought you'd be phoning it in tonight, considering the state I found you in this morning. Oh, no, that's between us, Trees. I told you everything's fine. Well, you were crying pretty hard in the car. Okay, Trees, I don't want to talk about that here. My tears are my business. Yeah, boundaries, Trees. <laughs> but I care about her emotional state. Trees, zip it. Okay, bye. Summer tea this, vacation, yes. Put on a thong and spread all of your summer sass. Why? All right, how is everybody doing tonight? How about you, lovely couple? Oh, we're not a couple. I'm gay and she's my psychic. Whoa! <laughs> yes, and the spirit world is telling me that your harmonica player is hiding something from you. I knew it! Spill the beans, Cassie Marie. Oh, there's nothing to spill, and there's no such thing as psychics. It's someone with an R name. What? what? So there is an R in your life? Is it R. Kelly? Steer clear! It is not R. Kelly! Well, that's good news. Tweedledee hot, no kids in school. I want to make friends with somebody who has a pool. <laughs> Trace, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but Cassie is about to receive a Nest Cam alert. Oh, my goodness. Pull out your phone. Trace, you're killing the vibe. Just do it. It's your Nest Cam. There's someone in your front yard. She was right again. You two get out of here with your devil business. Oh, no. I paid $4 for both of these seats. We're not going anywhere, honey. <laughs> Who is that in your yard? He's wearing a T-shirt that says Ronald. That's an R name! Yes, it's my ex, Ronald. Well, that explains the T. Wait, what's he doing now? Uh, he's in the closet bedroom. Yes! What? But that's my closet bedroom. That's where I put my fashion wear. He must think they're mine. He's going to burn them to get me back for dumping him. Oh, no! He has my Bottega Veneti Fanta pack! You can't burn that! That's my Bottega Veneta! But it's a knockoff, Trees. Oh, you shut up! Trees, it's just clothes! You're just clothes! And your ex-boyfriend is about to Angela Bassett my Bottega Veneta and set it on fire and then just walk away and snap. Now you call him and tell him to stop. Okay, just for you, Trees. Hello, Ronald. Uh, what did you say to me? No, you're garbage. I don't care. Burn every piece of clothing in that room if you want. No! That was not the plan. I'm sorry, Trees. I'll buy you all new stuff tomorrow. You can't. You're poorer than me. <laughs> My Bottega Veneta! Tweet on the hot. Yard full of bugs. I'm cutting you off from all of my summer hugs. No! Yes! And now with a song for the summer is Weekend Update correspondent Adam Sandler. Adam? Thank you. Uh, thank you. All right. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, um, summer for me uh, growing up always meant one thing. Falling in love. And uh, as we all know, love doesn't always work out. But what keeps us going is the hope that someday it will. <laughs> Here's a little song about that. Sunlight in her hair, her eyes were bluer than the summer sky. She'd hold me in her arms and tell me everything would be all right. But why'd she have to be my mother? Why'd she have to be married to my dad? Why'd she have to be my mother? We could have been so much more, but she said it was best if we were just friends. Oh, summer love. Summer of 71, my second love. We met on the field behind the school. 
We used to play all the day in the sun. No one ever made me feel that cool. I'll never forget the way she looked in those silky shorts that day. Why'd she have to be my gym teacher? Why'd she have to be 51 years old? Why'd she have to be my gym teacher? I said I wanted to play flag football with her forever, but she told me I should see the school psychologist. Oh, summer love. In 1981, I fell for Princess Di. In 82, it was a lady rabbi. In 83, it was the drummer from Air Supply. He told me he loved me. He told me I lied. Summer love. Summer love. <laughs> Summer of 94 is coming fast. And I don't want to spend it alone. I made some mistakes when I was young. But I'm going to put them behind me and pick up the phone. And call the woman who I should have been going out with all along. I'm going to go out with my mother. <laughs> I know what I said before, but I think I can talk her into it now. I'm gonna go out with my mother. I'll take her on a date to Burger King, and this time I'll pay. Oh, summer love. Have a good summer, everybody. I'm Sam, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff. Good stuff. Get on. Thank you. Thank you.